For the first chapter of the season, it's key point to get the confidence internally in the team. I put pressure on myself mostly because I want to achieve my goals and my goal is to win. But I also accept to be beaten and that's what keeps me on my toes. Expectations every year rise, even if you do good one season before, like everybody starts at zero. The demands on each other are gonna increase and that's only gonna improve the team as a whole. It's kind of an uh, addiction. Entonces puede llenarme de rabia para hacer esa salida lo más rápido que pueda. Without pressure, I think we will be just all the time in the same line. Being on board of a professional team has been awesome. A uh, really different experience of what it's been to be a privateer. Con presiones, hemos puesto 23 adelante, 25, que es lo que usaste con ruedas de carbono en el team camp. Lo voy a bajar un poquito. Vale. Actually, having the support of a professional team takes a lot of pressure off. Like, my head is only in doing my job that is racing, doing what I have to do, recovering, training. La regla que aprendí en Canadá, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. I learned that after crashing too many times. <laughs> I wanted to deliver a consistent race without mistakes and start building from that point up. For Flo, I think the best here that she will just keep her calmness because here if you get stiff or you get just afraid or whatever, you slip one time the pedal and the bike stop. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe it's even harder to ride this one than down here because down here you go, you have some speed, gravity is working. Here the gravity is working against you and if you stop, you stop. First stage you won, you were first. Second stage you were first. La verdad que flipé porque nunca había ganado un tramo y, y me, me pareció increíble. Fourth power stage I know, around 15. Yeah, you took 14 seconds from the first, but you still Yeah, this means that the next power stage you need to really focus and try to push it. Because what I saw now, the biggest gaps are making in power stage. It was really fun. I really enjoyed the format. It was like boom, boom, boom. No time to waste, no time to stop. Uh, you just deliver, do the liaison, get to the top, stop, three minutes, drop in. Uh, that was the pace. So at the end of the day, you end up cooked anyway. So for the people who think that e-bike racing is easy, it's not. <laughs> No sabía nada de los cronos, entonces me pedí ahí ocho tramos más, sin saber nada. Yes. Yeah, really?
Oh, Carvalho Gonzalez, and he's very, very good. Oh, Carvalho Gonzalez, and he's very, first time win here in the Tweed Valley at the EWE for the Europeans. Racing team. Empezó a venir la gente a felicitarme, no, no me enteraba qué pasaba y había ganado la carrera con 20 segundos de ventaja. La verdad que no sé, todavía no me lo creo. La verdad que, joder, tenía un buen ritmo, no sé, disfruté como nunca y en tres metas y todo el mundo vino a abrazarme y tal, y guau, wow, una visión, tío. No me lo creo. Qué guay, tío. Un sueño. Buah. And very first win for this guy coming from Spain and racing for the Orbea Fox Enduro team, Edgar Carballo González. Ready to go. Start of the season. It's official. We're gonna check the traces. Finally, day. So long off season. Straight back into the action. I'm so happy. The approach is always uh, the same, but. The first race of the season is always a little bit different. Let's just ride. Like, it's my approach now. I try to ride because I like it, not because I have to go fast, otherwise it doesn't work. It was obviously for me a change, coming with a new team, uh, with a new bike. So I think obviously winning last year, it added a little bit more pressure into the week. There is, you know, a lot of things to kind of adapt, even though we spent quite a bit of time together before, but, you know, it, you can't really replicate or imitate the race, so. Coming into a race season, I guess everybody has the same doubt. You don't know how fast you are. You, you always think somebody's trained harder, trained better, recovered better, but until you get between the tape, you don't really know how fast you are up against anybody else. came out there swinging, um, like always, pro stage went wrong, <laughs> so um, pretty bummed about that, but then on the second day I rode quite well, which I was um, like really happy with. The biggest problem uh, lining up and starting the first stage was to pace yourself. admit that after all the things I went through this year um, I think uh, it was a good result for me like no matter what I feel right now it's quite packed so you need to really perform at your finest if you want to be up there there is nothing like racing and uh, it was also a massive opportunity to realize a few things on the bike that I've never noticed before um, so, uh, on top of the good result, it was a very good learning day and week for all of us. de la bici con el 1, además amarillo porque soy líder, entonces bueno, estoy motivadísimo y tal, pero a la vez hay una presión. 
After the Tweed Valley race, my competitive experience was like hungry for being on the podium. ¿Qué asignatura te quedan pendientes? <risa> Siete tramos. Bueno, al final siempre hay que buscar que ir al fondo de las raíces para que ya no te patine, sino que suba directamente. Esta es la siete. Si sí, esta al ser larga, pues eh, mejor. Yo creo que todo el rato lo guay es no llegar a las curvas nunca colado así de, de, ir, de ir a tope y tener que frenar en la curva. Entonces, llegar aquí, frenar un poquito tranquilo, descansar y hacer ahí. ¿Sabes? Y ya vas directo, vas recto para poder abrirte para este pa y vas manteniendo la velocidad. ¿Sabes? Hay veces que una cosa lleva a la otra, ¿sabes? The winner in Tweed Valley, Scotland, Edgar Carvalho Gonzalez. I was in the lead, I didn't know any results until I got back to the paddock. I kind of knew I was doing good because people with camera were like, hey, how are you feeling? <laughs> the storm finally came before we dropped in. It was a slippery, I crashed. It took me a while for me to get back on the pace. And she goes second! It cost me the first place and the serious lead. If I take into account that this is only my second race in on e-bike, it's really good. Edgar was sitting in third place after six stages today. Florencia Espinera Herreros in second. Edgar Carvalho Gonzalez in third place. See you all tomorrow on the trails for training and over the weekend for the races. It was the time for Pitsen and Yamnitsa, EWS, basically my backyard, Pitsen, which is my home mountain, which I look every day from the house. I was uh, sitting there in the factory pits uh, beside everybody and uh, I was uh, there to perform my best and I was at pretty much at the peak of my career, to be honest, so it was a, it was a nice moment to be there. Yeah, I was sitting there, but uh, I had in mind to <laughs> race, not just to sit there, you know. <laughs> My main goal was to, to do good and to justify all the people that uh, obviously had <laughs> huge expect expectations for me. Why are you hiding? Wait. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. In 2018, he performed really good. He was fifth. And since there, he improved uh, a lot, and also he is now in factory team with a bigger support and all these things. 
and it's not really common that uh, he can race on home soil each year now this is after four years this is like olympic games if we look now this means that you need to do the best on that day and this for sure is really big load Not everything went according to plan, just riding wise went over the bars, bike flew down. <laughs> I don't know, we will, get, we will get to turn those prestigious around and <laughs> get them better at some point. But yeah, so that was the pro stage. Pro stage. Yeah. Check. Yeah, the tracks got really demanding, hard task to ride them fast and with a good flow. But I think that at the end I pulled um, the most out of it. the race you don't even realize the impact you make on the local community made all the bad stages bad crashes they let it flow away you know because I was uh, just stoked to see them all and to, to thank them to come there for to cheer for me in Slovenia didn't go as planned. We got maybe the puncture at two-thirds of the stage itself, so I lost a lot of time. Obviously it's far, far out to um, where I want to be, but at the same time I think it was some good points collected. Va barriendo el cabrón. Just sneaking the other teams. Creo que he ido rápido como un, como un caracol, pero bueno, la verdad que fue divertido y siempre en estas condiciones se aprende mucho. Uh. 
for me it's gonna be reading all the lines good uh, maintaining the speed and the flow trying the mullet on my bike this week so uh, it's fun to ride um, stage are actually pretty similar than last week in Betzen. Um quite rough and technical um, it's in between the wet and dry also. I think it's gonna be a, another really hard race. Just started quite rough, to be honest. Um, I had the same setup from Bitsen, which wasn't working here really good. Yeah, mainly I changed the suspension because I was feeling it's too crazy for here. It's a little bit wet as well, so it uh, a little bit slower bike, a little bit faster tracks, which means like a little bit slower, less reactive bike. And now it's working better, I guess. Slow it down to make it faster. <laughs> yeah, sometimes slow down makes faster as well, so oh, take, take notes, kids. <laughs> I think it's still uh, a lot of um, room to improve bike-wise and also riding-wise. Uh, that's the way we're gonna try to go on you know, the next races in Whistler and actually American Tour. Y vas como a lo negro, y entonces ya de luego vas recto a donde tienes que ir. Si giras toda esta, luego tienes que hacer otra. Uh. Este sistema esto está todo estudiado, probado y de todo. Aquí esto ha parado de corredores. Oh. Uy, uy, uy. Chico, ¿no? Hombre, eso no me tiro porque... Eddie the banana in the last race for the first block of the European EWS Surrender Series Corp guy and watch Simpson. I started yesterday with the prologue with a really bad, bad stage, like huge mistakes, like uh, losing a lot of time there. And it was mentally hard for me to overcome that and to start this, this day, Sunday, the complete race with a reset.
I would say from the four races we have done this block, this is the toughest by far. When you race any kind of bike. I love racing, what can I say? <laughs> especiales un poco raras, muchas subidas, creo que para gente más ligera y me han ido metiendo pero bueno, lo estoy dando todo igual que siempre y a ver qué pasa Love Climb Awesome, marvelous, perfect It was a lot of uphills, a lot of tight turns, a lot of uh, changing in the trail itself Que se veían los tiempos no me gustaba tanto. Tengo como ganas de saber qué pasa si me pongo un poco más en forma y tal y sigo manteniendo me, yendo en bici como estoy yendo ahora. Field and fortunately we only finished the race two girls. Uh, it was Laura and me by the end. Estoy contentísimo de lo que ha pasado hasta ahora, pero joder, ya que estoy ahí, me gustaría aprovechar el momento y aprender de esto y escribir algo diferente en el libro, ¿sabes? 